Hello, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And right now, I'm reeling you in to a video that's jam-packed full of facts about one of the widest spread fish-eating birds on the planet. It is, of course, the Great Cormorant. The common, or Great Cormorant, is a large, top-heavy and mostly black bird. They have an upright posture, a wingspan of more than five foot and large, webbed feet. At the base of their powerful hooked beaks, they have a yellow patch of skin and bright, bluey-green eyes. Young birds have a more washed-out appearance, with brown wings and heads and creamy grey chests. Throughout the breeding season, adult birds develop white patches on their thighs and sometimes around the back of their necks. Their wing feathers become more of an iridescent bronze colour and they grow a small crest of black feathers which can be held upright but also flat to their heads. Their feathers are not waterproof and as they spend a lot of their time in the water they have to dry them out by standing with their wings splayed. Their webbed feet aren't great for walking and they can only move slowly on land but don't let that lure you in. They are exceptional swimmers. For birds, cormorants have really dense bones meaning they float very low in the water and as their paddle shaped web feet are towards the back of their bodies they can swim really fast both above and below the surface. Their dart is made up almost exclusively of fish which they catch by chasing down and then swallowing whole. They can dive for as much as 70 seconds and have evolved hearing that works underwater just as good as some species of whale. It's believed they might use this to detect fish in murky waters. Although each bird only consumes around 500 grams of fish per day, they are so good at catching them that they often grab hold of and eventually release fish that are too large for them to swallow. This can leave the larger fish scarred or sometimes fatally injured and has netted the cormorants a bad reputation with anglers. Cormorants can breed at any time of the year if there's enough food available, but this is usually confined to the warmer months between April and September. They nest communally, often in waterside trees, but occasionally on cliff edges and on both coastal and inland islands. Depending on where the colony is based, each pair constructs a nest out of either twigs and grasses or sometimes with mounds of seaweed. Cormorants are monogamous, but as pairs sometimes spend long periods of time apart, upon returning to the nest, they must perform a courtship display to solidify their relationship. If they impress their mates and they take the bait, egg laying can begin. Each female produces between three and six pale blue or green colored eggs. These are incubated for 28 to 31 days and just like penguins, sometimes the parents will lift the eggs on top of their feet to keep them closer to the warmth of their bodies. When the chicks hatch out, they are covered in a layer of dark brown down and look remarkably like their parents, albeit more gangly versions. Their parents feed them on regurgitated fish for 50 days before they can fledge. After fledging, the young birds stay with their parents for several more weeks as they learn how to catch fish for themselves. Some of this is through copying, but a lot is learned on the fly through trial and error. Long-term studies have shown that cormorant numbers have increased by around 40% since 1986. There are now an estimated 9,100 breeding pairs and 4,100 individual birds in the country. This increase in population is most noticeable inland, on freshwater lakes and rivers, as cormorants are spreading at a steady rate to new areas and new food sources. Until 1940, cormorants were mainly found around the coast and were only known to breed at six inland sites, but now they are found at more than a hundred. No one is exactly sure why these birds seem to have begun casting out into inland areas rather than their traditional coastal breeding sites. Perhaps this was caused by a lack of food in the oceans 
or maybe they've been drawn in by the ready supply of fish in fisheries and stocked ponds and lakes. Cormorants have a few interesting behaviours and are one of the only species of bird that are known to work together to catch fish. Cormorants have also been used historically by people to catch fish, although these days it's pretty much only practiced for the benefits of tourists. Cormorants can be really long-lived birds with an average of 15 years and one individual made it to a whopping 27 years and two months of age. Well, hopefully by now you've learned some new information about the cormorant. But did you notice I was also including some terrible fishing puns in this video? If you manage to count how many I've included, then throw me a line in the comments down below and let me know how many. If you did enjoy this video, check out this other British wildlife video now and consider subscribing to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.